No more hiding. Following Spain's issuance of a European arrest warrant to Belgium on Friday for ousted Catalan leader Carles Puigdemont and four former ministers, on Sunday morning at precisely 9.17 a.m. local time, they surrendered to federal police. The Brussels prosecutor swiftly appointed an investigative judge. The fate of the five now rests squarely in his hands. The investigative, investigative judge has to decide within 24 hours, which means that a decision has to be made no later than 9.17 tomorrow morning. The investigative judge can decide accordingly, refusal to execute the European arrest, arresting the uh, people involved, releasing them under conditions or under bail. Every EU member state is obliged to uphold the automatic execution of a European arrest warrant. But there are loopholes that could buy Puigdemont and his colleagues some time. For a European arrest warrant to be issued, the offence has to be more or less the same in Belgian law and in Spanish law. Sedition and rebellion. There isn't really the same thing in the Belgian penal code. But there is an offence for misuse of public funds. We'll have to see exactly why they would choose this, but in this instance we have offences that are equivalent. Usually the Belgian judicial authority show a high level of trust, of mutual trust to, towards uh, their foreign counterparts. If you take a look you know, um, at this double criminality requirement, I think, well, there, there is a risk, at least, uh, that this could, well, lead to a refusal of the um, EAW. If the investigative judge decides to accept Spain's request and arrest the ousted officials, Puigdemont and his colleagues could accept their fate and be quickly returned to Spanish authorities within 10 days. But it's seen as likely they will challenge the warrant. Objections and appeals could delay action by up to 60 days. The longer Puigdemont can delay the charges against him, the greater chance he has of contesting regional elections on December 21st. Now on Tuesday, when the fire first surfaced in Brussels, Puigdemont said he wasn't in Belgium to claim asylum. But could that now change? Belgium is the only EU country where it is legally possible to examine an asylum claim by a national of another EU country. Puigdemont would then need to show that he is at risk of persecution from Spain. Marim Zadi, CGTN, Brussels.